Oh, that's pretty good. Should be bourbon, I guess. Uh, I'll have to settle for single malt. Everybody, welcome to the harmonica barge. Today I want to talk about honky tonk country harmonica. I hope you've got your whiskey ready. Let's see how it goes. So we can think of honky tonk country as being a style of country music that's played in honky tonk bars in the southern states of America. I don't know how many true honky tonk bars there are anymore. Maybe you can tell me. But we're going to grab our C harmonica playing in the key of G. This is a melody of mine that I call snake skin slippers. It's a melody that I wrote in a typical country style. Let's give it a go. Here's the whole melody. Here's the first bar. Three. If you've never read dotted rhythms before, this is a nice start there. We delay that dotted note, but just listen and repeat. Three, four. Using a five blow there, we're digging into the major pentatonic scale. Do check out my other videos on that if you're unfamiliar with it, but you don't need to know the scale to play this melody. The second bar, watch out, we're landing on the two blow. And we've got this little figure which is so common in country and bluegrass phrasing, no matter what the instrument, but it sits particularly well on harp, we're going... It's that little figure at the end. So the first two bars together, three, four. tied note in rhythm notation just means that the first note takes up the value of the second one that it's tied to. Um, don't worry about that too much, but hey, we're learning to read music here as well. Rhythm's not too difficult to learn to read, and actually, you know, I still quite like to use rhythm notation, even though I'm a massive fan of playing by ear and picking up the rhythm that way, but if I'm going to have notation, I want proper rhythm notation, simply because no one's come up with a better way to do it than traditional notation. Oh, just a word, do like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and give me the thumbs up for this video below, just the, th the thumb sign, you know, that really helps me out a lot. Thank you very much. Bar three, watch out, because we've got an eighth note rest on the first beat, and that's kind of classic, but we're getting a bit of wunk da hitting that and after the one, a bit of syncopation. So if I count myself in for bar three, three, four, rest, and then we're hitting the two, so it's rest. And that little figure's back again, so let's do bar three together. Three, four, rest. And then we've got two one draws. And a little bit of theory here we're using, we're playing the chord tones, because actually the key, the song here would go to a D chord, and I'm hitting a D. So I'm hitting the root of the chord, it almost sounds like a bass line, sounds very stable. Again, don't worry about the theory too much, but that's what's happening, just in case you're interested. Watch out at the end of bar four, we've got a little pickup phrase that leads into the next phrase with a six blow, five blow, four draw. Okay, so first four bars, three, four. And I'm puckering for this at the moment. I kind of find with a lot of this country stuff, there's almost, I would say for country and honky tonk, might be controversial, don't tell anyone, there's almost a strong enough historical precedent in the harmonica for puckering, as you, you could argue, just like there is for Chicago blues with tong blocking. Because a lot of this country harmonica, a lot of the honky tonk harmonica, I would I'd say there's probably not one definitive honky-tonk harmonica style. It's just a broadly 
country harmonica I couldn't really spot the difference in the in the harmonica style itself but a lot of it is pucker and we've got that quite sharp attack so just a demo with that six blow playing that nice and clean you could slide up to that I believe some harmonica players call this a rip where you rip through the notes that can be pretty handy well it is Monday after all just a small, just a tiny one. No one will, no one will mind, will they? I'm just going to read you a little honky tonk quote, which I found. I really like this. It's under the title I found an article called Hillbilly Duke Joints. So honky tonk became especially well known for its fascination with the flip side, heartbreak, infidelity, pain that could only be numbed with alcohol. Oh, okay. Um, mourning after remorse from religious guilt. Although it's generally thought of as a rural music, Honky Tonk was actually more the result of rural migration to southern urban centres, particularly those of Texas. Texas could be the Honky Tonk heartland, really. And just from personal experience, I've been in difficult times in my life, not too difficult, but I've had breakups and lost jobs or quit jobs and something about honky tonk music which is very consoling for the soul there's a lot of songs about breaking up with someone being heartbroken and there's a lot of songs about well there's quite a few songs about telling your boss to go and stick it so if you just quit your job uh, or broke up with someone maybe try a little whiskey and a few honky tonk records I'd recommend it. So back to the tune. Bar five is kind of similar to bar one, except we've got a slightly different rhythmic figure and we've got a five draw. And this is very important because I'm bringing in a note from the blues scale. I want to bluesy this up a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go. And once again, we're landing on that two blow, just like bar two with bar six, so a but then I jump up to a five blow and that's just to hit, there's a certain note I want to hit with this cool little chord change, I believe it's a diminished chord in the song and five blow works really nicely, so that bar six, three, four you can slide up to that five blow if that helps and bar seven coming down in eighth notes no problems there and the last bar I've got this almost like this little bluegrassy lick that I really like that incorporates the three blow it's a bit of a Charlie McCoy uh, I don't know who played it first but it's very common and I'm going into 16th notes there so I'm going I'm sure you've encountered this lick before with me if you've done any of my courses and lessons I use this one quite a lot so we've got a one draw, two blow, two draw, three blow, but in 16th notes. And that's kind of a cool little lick because you can use that to jump into other licks and such. So like I said, honky tonk can be fairly bluesy when we're pucker playing. We can articulate and hit into these notes quite hard. There's a bit of five draw in there. Obviously that's our very blues you know so we can articulate these notes quite hard and lean into these bluesy stylings so thanks everybody i hope you enjoyed this lesson this tune is actually week one of my bluegrass and country harmonica level two which is an eight week course packed full of tunes rhythms licks improvisation i go into a lot more detail on how to warm up this melody and really get into some nice bluesy improvisations with techniques that you can use for any kind of song that you learn also i've just made a country and honky tonk playlist which is on spotify if you want that if you're not subscribed to my mailing list you can find the link below do subscribe to my mailing list which will mean i'll send you an email with any planes here it's always the planes I'll send you an email with any early bird discounts on lessons and courses and when you subscribe do drop me an email tell me you want the playlist and I'll send you the playlist link to a whole bunch of tracks on Spotify that have got some really nice country and honky-tonk harmonica on okay so thanks everybody I'll see you next time bye bye